Hey, good evening. It's great to have you with us on this Saturday night. I'm Nick McGurk. We do start tonight with a controversial letter sent to principals in Utah. Now, the letter from a state representative on how to respond to, quote, the transgender phenomenon in schools. All this during the first week of Pride Month with Utah groups responding tonight. ABC4's Kayla Baggerly in studio with more. Hi, Kayla. That's right, Nick. Representative Kara Berkland sent out a letter to principals around Utah with a guideline on how to navigate transgender issues in schools. I spoke with the Utah Pride Center, who released a statement in response to this letter, saying they are concerned it was sent on the Utah House of Representatives letterhead. Women's sports need to be preserved. Representative Kara Berkland, who sponsored House Bill 11, prohibiting transgender athletes from playing in girls' sports, tonight under fire for a letter she sent out to Utah school principals. We want our parents and our educators to support their kids, not to support a lawmaker, not to support political rhetoric, look at people in the face, hug them, love them just as they are. The Utah Pride Center with American Civil Liberties Union Utah posted a statement in response to the letter Representative Berkland sent on official House of Representatives letterhead. We wanted to point out that really what you should be doing is doing adequate research, really talking to actual parents of actual students. The letter included two documents on guidelines, including one called Navigating the Transgender Landscape School Resource Guide from the Child and Parental Rights Campaign. Their website describes them as a nonprofit public interest law firm founded to defend parents' rights to shield their children from the impacts of gender identity ideology. Dumar's concern is how this could affect transgender students, especially following House Bill 11. We see that right after things like this happen, we see an increase in suicide. And so for us to speak right away and immediately and tell people they're safe and tell people they are loved and tell people just as you are, you are good, is really important. We reached out to Representative Berkland through phone and email for a comment, but haven't received a response at this time. Back to you, Nick. Okay, thank you, Kayla. Now, as expected, you might run into some road closures if you're driving around downtown Salt Lake tomorrow. The annual Pride Parade will start in the morning at 10 a.m. Now, the parade will start at 200 West and 200 South. You can see the route right there on your screen. It wraps up at 200 East and 200 South. So for more information, you can head to our website with this map. That's abc4.com.